Mate. Looked like a lot of fun, Rich. It little was. trip up the coast. Yeah, just to the Umina uh, Park there. It was excellent. We had a, uh, a beautiful time. There was some fun little waves and, uh, yeah, not a, no shortage of things to do, that's for sure. Great food, great atmosphere. But uh, follow the leader down the beach. It's happened. This is Kobe Enright. On her forehand, we know she's got this big swooping turn. Secret little tracks and, and things to explore. Yeah, the NRMA, NRMA parks and resorts definitely worth checking out on your next adventure. Right now, though, we're having a look at heat number six, the round of 48. Kobe Enright is out there. I lived uh, at the southern end uh, of the beach here at Narrabeen and grew up there when I was uh, a kid. Um, and it has its days. But typically... It's uh, until you get to North Narrabeen, each set wave break. Silvana, obviously, we've seen it a lot. She's won multiple events and challenged for world titles as well. Car park rides to Collaroy. As we see, Kobe Enright up now. Already has a 4.17. That should back it up pretty nicely. 23 minutes to go here. Kira Pinkerton lining something up. This wave looks okay. Fell on her first, missed an opportunity to drop a good score. She'll try and make up for it here. Unfortunately, just gets a little hung up and then can't ride out. Let's hear from the winner of the last heat with Stace. I actually really wanted to start on the right, um, but then I thought it wouldn't be a good idea. I would be the first one to do so. But I ended up actually being the, the first one, and now the girls on the next heat are in this heat are surfing where I was. You know, there's a, a sort of a, a lot of greats that you can talk about. Shaping is a big one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Brookvale in particular was was really the, the gateway to surfboard manufacturing in Australia for a long time. So, yeah, you know, I, I guess we can credit Sydney and the Northern Beaches for, for really being influential. So many, so many uh, distinguished board brands here. We see Silvana Lima just on this little right-hander. Busted leash there for Silvana Lima. She's going to have to uh, make her way to the beach. Caddy will probably meet her down there. Here we go. Kira has found a section and throws down one of her trademark. Hits off the top and hangs oh. on for the finish. That should put a smile on her face. I just got some goosebumps. <laughs> it that is was, cold in here. It is cold, but that was uh, that was amazingly surfed. It just felt like when she took off on that wave, you know, calmed down, and she found herself this wave and uh, absolutely went to town on it. This first turn, big, and then this next one, that was such a hard section, and she just bashes it. There's, there's been some heavy wipeouts throughout the morning as well, and we're not entirely sure if, if maybe she her board hit her or, or what happened, but... Hopefully we uh, we get to find out at the end, but Kobe Enright here wow. finding a room for a clean combination. <laughs> Number of hits there, and she was just looking to improve on a 4.47. She'll do that. And the World Surf League would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians, the Kayamagal and Gadigal people of their country, of this country, and uh, we pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging, and we want to extend that acknowledgement to all First Nations people here today and joining us on the broadcast. You know, it's just a basically a short shuffle away, and there's also some rocks there where you can see where the, the Gadigal people used to actually... And you can see how much energy and, and effort she's putting into the wave. Silvana just gets a little stuck on the first turn. Their tools there. So it's, it's all right here on Sydney's northern beaches. And uh, you feel that energy every time you, you're in this beautiful zone. Seven minutes remaining here. And Paige Harrow just trying to fight her way in a position in a position to progress through this. Oh, Silvana on the inside, unable to finish that one off. Here's Paige. Yeah, Paige on the backhand. So she's found a little space. Was getting stand-up, soul arch, barrel rides so at big cool. HTs. And, uh, yeah, she just marked herself as, uh, I think, one of the, the stronger big wave surfers that we have on, on the Women's Challenger Series, for sure. There's a, she's just looking for that backup score at the moment. She just wants to up the requirement here. She was trying to throw away a 1.07. For Silvana and Paige, but uh, you could see here uh, it was a... Bit of a desperate... It was a uh, nervous battle. effort, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. Having to drop a one, it's... Uh... You were talking about it yesterday, Rich, and really tricky 
uh, conditions like this, the, the surfer who can iron out the bumps with, with flowing turns and go rail to rail is always going to have an edge, and Kobe's found that. Yeah, she's uh, somehow delivered this silky smooth. 15 seconds to go. Kobe Enright, sweet. 6.67 for her. And a 5.67 up again now. Just on a victory lap, really drawing. It turns out beautifully today. Into the next round as Kira Pinkerton also finds out another ride. And this should shore up second position for her. This is going to be better than the 2.07. Oh, you can see Paige was trying to get onto that wave as well. And Paige actually had priority. So if she had caught it, Kira would have had to straighten out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, definitely. She's going to add some more points there. She'll replace that too. Yeah, and Kira was having a moment out there. We're not entirely sure what she was going through, and um, hopefully she's all good. But you've got to commend the, how, how well she rallied in that heat. Yeah, absolutely. Just uh, found something, found some extra motivation and effort and, and, and recomposed. What a, uh, what a crazy 30 minutes.